Hello, and welcome back. It is time for Mist 3 Exile. The sequel to the sequel to Mist. Also, just real quick, I've learned a little thing on the keyboard here. legendary hero I'm not I, I do think I messed it up a little bit here or there but I'm working on it I, I I do not in fact know how to play piano I just decided to learn how to play that one song kind of even then not really with chords but also a little Metroid Prime here. a little bit so I can pull that out of my pocket whenever but yeah so today it's time for for mist 3 now full disclosure here I have played this game before and I do have a notebook I do have a notebook with the, uh, I guess, clues for puzzles that I had written down when playing through it the first time. So, I will probably, uh, my, my plan is to, if I, you know, just play through the game without looking at the notes, and if I get stuck on something, then I'll pull up my notebook and I'll take a look or I guess if there's something like I know I wrote this down and this is something that you're supposed to write down and then reference later so I'll take a look at the notes to see that to reference it might do something like that as well but also <clears throat> I gotta say uh, I, I just can't really tell who who uh, who made this game you know it's it, it, they they just didn't they just didn't uh, advertise on the on the start screen here who published the game I just who who knows it's not like there's a uh, there's uh, <laughs> three Ubisoft logos one of them being different from the other two. But anyways, let's start, let's start a new game here, and hopefully the audio is 
set to a good level. Ooh, it's already seeming pretty loud. I realized as our group linked back to Dunny that we should not restore the city as we had planned. The once magnificent buildings lay in ruin, a testament to the hatred that had consumed them. Too many people had fallen victim to that hate, to the prejudice and greed from which it sprang. But also this opening song. Gazing out across the cavern. I decided to write another age, one that would help the Dunny survivors begin again, free from the tragedies of their past. So with my wife, Catherine, supporting me, I put aside that past to write a future. More than a year has gone by since I finished writing Relishan. I have a new daughter, who I hope will someday link to the age with me. And as I imagine Yisha meeting the Dunny, those brave men and women who are building a new life for themselves, I realize I've been given another chance as well. A chance to learn from my mistakes and leave the past behind me once and for all. That opening song goes hard. <laughs> really does. Breathtaking, isn't it? Hi, hang on. Hang on, Catherine. I'm just just taking in the view. Yeah, look at that. And then you and then you turn around and Oh, who's this? We call it Tamana. We moved here after H has finished writing Relation. He wanted us to have a new home too. I'm so glad to see you. Uh -huh. I told Atrus our paths would cross again. He was just going to grab something for your trip to Relation, so he shouldn't be terribly long. Unless he decides to check over the whole house first, which means he could be hours resetting all his padlocks. But I know he was looking forward to introducing you to the Dunny, so he shouldn't be terribly long. Why don't you wait in his study? All right. Look at that little daughter. Also, is, can I? Yeah, because it still sounds a bit loud. I'll turn it down in the game, because sadly, the game doesn't like to alt tab, as you may have seen in the during that opening. I, but I'm glad I turned down the volume, because that would have blown out the speakers for sure. Or you know the audio mixer in OBS. Yeah. So, oh yeah, and you can right click to move the mouse. Gotta click to move around, just like the old Mist games here. I'm sorry, the other door. I'm sorry, the other door. <laughs> Adorable baby. Adorable baby. Looping footage. Pay no mind. Oh. I was just wondering what the other options are. <laughs> uh, old games. Turn the contrast up of your mon or of your monitor up as high as it will go. If you can't see the symbol within the black square above. Then turn the brightness of your monitor up until the symbol becomes visible. Slowly turn the brightness of your monitor down until the symbol within the orange square just turns black. Well, I'll be honest, I can't... I can't see it. And I'm, I'm not gonna bother with... with that at all. Zip mode? I don't even know what that is. Oh, music was already turned to half. This is... Oh, for reference. How often music plays? Yeah, we like to keep that high. I like to have some background music. But also... 
I don't hear sound too. Oh, it's just a... Like a very low kind of humming noise. <clears throat> yeah, we'll, we'll keep that the way it is. Should be fine. All right. So here we are in the study. There's a book in a glass case. Relisha. Ooh. Tapestry. I think that's Atris and the people of Denis. Or maybe that's Atris's father or grandpa. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure that's in the caves of Denis. Then we have this giant vessel here. It's like a city vessel. Wild. But then let's look at some stuff. There's a book here. Is that... Oh, that's Riven, isn't it? Not looking so good, huh? Just close that. But that's definitely Riven. You can tell by the symbol. Hmm. Nurse Catherine and the baby. Taman. Thank you for responding so quickly to my request for Nar... For... Nara Padlocks. As you know, security in Tamana has become an important issue of late. Perhaps I am overreacting, as Catherine suggests, but the idea that someone may have been sneaking into my study, reading all of my journals, disturbs me. After what happened to my library on Mist, after my own sons, Cyrus and Aknar, destroyed so many of my books, I've come to realize how delicate the link is to my worlds. I've never been able to repair those burned books to link to each age and find out if the inhabitants survived. The padlocks won't change that situation, but they should ease my fear of trespassers considerably. Sincerely, Atris. So someone's been sneaking into his, uh, his home here. Reading through his journals. Mm. Big gem. Oh, that's just a note. Magnifying glass. His sons. I believe it was Cirrus and Akinar. I think that's the. I don't, maybe I've got them backwards. Either way. Pretty sure that's it. Sirius and Akinar. Uh, red and blue. Yeah. So I think that's everything that we can look at. Ah. There we go. No? I don't know, maybe I'll head out. Nope. Maybe there's more to look at over here? Oh. Well, my friend, I see you found the Relishan book. Catherine Ugh. tells me you've been here for some time. Hi. Sorry if I've kept you waiting. But since we'll be gone a few days, I need to secure some of my things. And I also wanted to bring you this. It's a journal I kept while I was writing Relishan. I thought you might find it interesting to read about what I'd hoped to achieve compared to what the age truly well, just let me get my keys to unlock the Nishan and we'll be off. Oh, and I'm interested in hearing what you've been up to in recent months. Uh -huh. What the? What? Oh no! No! Ah! Fire! He's t 
shaking Relation! I'm using a licking book! Relation! No! <laughs> well, I mean, we gotta go after him, right? We gotta go after him! telescope things that I guess oh yeah and then this kind of looks up yeah so the way they work is so this lens right here is just blank because it's going to refract your view from this lens out that lens and that's of course a part of a puzzle for later I think we need to have go in this direction. So we'll just leave that like that. Got these big tusk things, and they got a symbol on them. pathways here but let's let's uh well let's first we'll read a couple pages here and then we'll chase after that guy 93 525 i always feared this day would come for years catherine and i have dreamed of restoring denis we have dedicated our lives to the task taking it upon ourselves to locate the citizens of denis and convince Oh, oh, hey, hey, J2 Trumpet. <laughs> Breaks in the office, steals relation, sets fire, sets office on fire, follow the dude into a linking book going, who knows where, runs away from you, say, nah, <laughs> you do, <laughs> you. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play with this spinny thing. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Citizens of Tanin convince them to return to their ruined city and rebuild. Our dream has become the dream of so many now, and the progress we have made toward achieving it is something of which we all can stand proud. But I know now that it has been a mistake. The city of Denis should not be restored. It should stand forever in ruins, as both a symbol of our past mistakes and a memorial to all who lost their lives when Denis fell. The devastating events of recent months, the war on Terrani, and the death of Uta, in particular, have driven this truth home to me in quite forcefully. If we rebuild the city walls today, we are not giving approval, or are we not giving approval to the very illness that destroyed our civilization in the first place? Are we not setting ourselves up to repeat that pattern again in future generations? Yes. Uh, how do I... There. We'll return to that book later, but I guess, I guess, I guess we should uh, chase after that man. Probably went up here. There he is. He's in there. Locked. Yeah. And uh, I believe this was about... <laughs> either this or maybe a little bit further. Is about as far as I went when I was a child. 
because I was like, that man uh, looks like he will murder me if I open this door. I would prefer to never encounter him again. Yeah. But I, I'm a, a big adult now. So we'll we'll figure out his deal. Oh yeah, there's there's this island has so many paths that all kind of connect to each other. Yeah. Not really, because I have played it uh, about two years ago. Got light. So, my my memory on the puzzles is vague, and I have the notebook that I used when I first played it. I'm not going to. I'm gonna try to avoid referencing it and just play the game and try to figure things out without it but if I get stuck then I at least have something I can use yeah <laughs> yep yep mm -hmm. so you can point it to the blue And I think that's, uh, yeah, we kind of have to. Because you either point it to nothingness over there. Which I believe is like a shattered... It's like one of these, but the top has been knocked off. So we'll point that to blue. I do remember that these unlock... Uh, I think it's that door over there. But you have to feed the light through in a certain way. So yeah. I think we go to green and we go that way around the island. Because I think that one points straight to the door. But we can check. If I take a look over here. Yeah, yeah, see, so yeah, that points to the door that unlocks. So, yeah, we've got... I guess first, though, our first point of business is to get access to that center tower. And then we can worry about the, the three tusks on the outskirts. Is there a path over here? Yeah. It circles around. Yeah, here's the door. Locked. If you look at this, it looks a lot like the device that shoots the light back there. And you can actually kind of see the, the light glinting off of one of those mirrors. Let's head down here. Whistling Rock. I believe that will be important. Or, maybe not the rock itself, but the fact that things make noise. Got this nice little hut. Boop. Nice. Hmm. Well, that 
doors locked. Boop. And not anymore. All right. Let's take a look around. Open this door as well. Make sure we've got a clear path. I may, I think I'm able to go over there, yeah. A little guy! There's a little guy in that home. Hmm. I think now the little guy will come out? No? Maybe if I do this. Woo. Oh, oh. Squee chirps. Seems like his chirps made the plant grow. Important. Perhaps very important. This, this plant, like, amplifies the sound of whatever it's pointed at. And we made those things grow. Cool. So we got a pathway to that tusk. Let's check out this. Hmm. Mobile with two little people versus one person. Positioned such that it they essentially weigh the same. A book. A second book. I've done it. I've used his swirling linking book to follow him. I touched my palm to its glowing panel and felt the tingling begin. There was a sudden, sickening lurch inside my stomach. Then I fell into the page. This has happened before. I know it. It happened the first time I came to this place, when I followed his murdering sons from Narayan. It happened when I used his hidden books, and it happened when I finally opened the machine right before the fog first ate my mind. The fog didn't find me this time. When I opened my eyes, I was alone in a room. I was standing in the home of my betrayers. I couldn't move. I was afraid. I thought they'd know that I had come and would be waiting for me, just like they had waited inside this very tusk. I was afraid they would tie me up again that the poison snakes would strike. But the silence was unbroken. The whole house was still, and without really knowing what I did, I started to search every room, every floor, every cabinet. I found his journals. Atris. Atris's never-ending journals. I found the book that brought me back to this world. The lesson world, he calls... He calls, is it Janaman, I think? Difficult to tell with so few pixels. But. Oh, Tar Tarira? My love. Or Tamira, maybe Tamira. Oh, Tamira, my love. How long have I been trapped here? How much of my life has been eaten by the fog? The 
face I see in the lagoon isn't one I remember ever wearing. It's so much older, so much more savage, but it is me. It is Saavedro. And I remember what they did, how they led my people to death. I will we'll table this book for a minute. We'll get back to that as well. Got a bit of a painting of a woman. I believe that's a painting of uh, Tamira? Question mark. And looks like he's having trouble remembering her face, or he got angry and wiped it. Hmm. Important information for later. Four of these diamond orbs. Seems to equal one of these, uh, or I guess four glass orbs, maybe? Anyway, it seems to equal one of these black orbs. Hmm. Oh, yes, and then we've got this doohickey. Electricity makes the bugs swarm. So activates plant. Carnivorous plant. Hmm. Yep. What is the same? And we've got a few more orbs down here. But over here, looks like one glass orb is equal to four wooden orbs. Some complicated math for a later puzzle. So four wood equals one glass, and four glass equals one metal? I would assume. Four wood gla to glass. For glass to metal. But here's an elevator. I think I might have gotten to this point you? when I was a kid, maybe. Come to rescue your book so soon? Not yet, old friend. I'm, uh, I'm not Atris. So you see he puts a paper on the machine there. I 
believe we can, yeah. Eventually, I'll get uh, control. There we go. Let's see the look in here. Uh, uh. Then it kind of stops. Hmm. What if we flip that? And we flip this. mechanisms in here. Oh yeah, I think, I think, I think it's in the books. I have returned several times now to, to, to mana, to mana, I think. I am searching for some sign of his sons. I was certain they would run back to their father, but so much time has passed. So many years in which to forget about my people. Is that what happened, Atris? Safe in your beautiful new home? Enjoying life with your dear wife and family? Did you become so busy envisioning new worlds that you forgot the ones you'd already created? I must be very careful. I must not let them know that I am free. I will read what journals I can, I can find to figure out where his two sons are hiding. And when I've found the sons again, when I've got the whole family together, I'll bring them down. Atris and his family will suffer the way I have suffered for years. Cirrus and Aknar are not in Tamana. Every day I become more and more convinced Atris' sons are not there. What happened, Atris? Did you grow tired of them, the way you tired of Narayan? Did you abandon them, the way you abandoned my people behind your shield? It does not matter. I can still take revenge against their father, now that I am no longer stuck on Jananin, or Jananin? Jananin. I can avenge all the dead in my world. I have already reopened his other books. I have begun making changes in those worlds, using his own lessons against him. There is still much more work to be done, but eventually I will lure him into this tusk. I will find some way to make him follow me here from Tamana. For now, I will concentrate on the Orbiter. It is not a natural part of this, its world. The material that creates it is like nothing I've seen. It reminds me, just a little, of the shield, and if it is the same material, it can't be damaged. But perhaps I can damage the other devices. So here we go, here we go, we got some things, we got some weird stuff. These, perhaps, maybe that's uh how these should be situated. Maybe something like that. It's difficult to tell. But perhaps I can damage the other devices. No! It cannot be true! Surely his journals deceive me! He says he's brought them back. He says he's given his Denis brethren new life. But how? How can one man have so much power? How can one man's writings reawaken a dead world? I don't know what this means. By all that is sacred, Tamra, what can it mean? It doesn't change a thing. 
I can still continue as I planned. I can still seek revenge for my people. I will make my enemies suffer. By the weaving, Tamra. This changes everything. Oh, here we go. That's the way they, they should be. Looks like these two should be at the top, and then this one should be one down. And then position the gears so that the gap is right over top of the other gear. And then I've already switched that one over, so that's where it should be, I guess. I found a way to reprogram his scanning device. It requires scavenging parts from another mechanism in the tusk, but I think the gears I, I leave can still be operated by hand. And here we see that there's two of them are pointed with the thin point out and one with the thin point in. It is finished. All is ready for Atris's arrival. Tonight I will sleep among the ghosts. Then tomorrow I will look into Tom Tamana. When I link out, I'll be carrying his book. May the spirits of my people serve to guide me in this. That's all we have. So let's get these uh, these doohickeys in position. So I believe that is the way this should be. Let's get the gear in position. That one's right. Perfect. Okay, is it possible? Yeah, we can rotate it. Now, which end is the thin end? They both look to be the same. Thickness. Oh, I guess this is the striped end, maybe? So, striped end out for two of them, and then striped end in for one. Striped end out. Striped end out. And then striped end in. Okay. Let's see how that goes. We'll call the elevator down. happens when we go in. Hmm. Nothing seems to have changed. not have gotten something correct. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure if you get it correct, the elevator's supposed to rotate. top, I guess. Alright. 
Well, these have remained where they are. I mean, that definitely looks like they're at the top. And this one's like one down. Let me see. So it looks like there's. No. I don't know, maybe this one needs to be down a little further. Or maybe they all need to be down just a little further. We'll find out. Start with that. See if anything changes. It's not rotating here, but I'm not sure if it's supposed to. You know, let's let's see what happens if I just send it up. Will it rotate? It does not, so I don't think we've quite got it. one more. I mean, this seems pretty straightforward. Like, you'd think that would be it. And then this one's just two positions. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, it was showing, like, zoop to this. Is there... No, there's nothing further down. That gear is in the same position. Okay, let's try that. Maybe those weren't low enough. Was it? We got it. Spin Up we go. Open the door. There he is. Closes up and disappears. Well, we can open that door at least. Uh, yeah. Send the elevator back down. And now we can unlock this door. Oh. Gotta, gotta close the inner door, then open the outer door. <laughs> but anyways, okay. At least we got that path unlocked. Let's take a look around in here. So we gotta get to that thing. He put a piece of paper on this. Machinery. Right. Oh. Uh. 
Beatrice. My sons, I promise to teach you the secrets of my ages. This world is the first step on your journey. Search the island, and you'll find three linking books. Each connects to an age in which you will most Hello, Atris. They're oh. long time. Sorry I'm not there to greet you in person, but I just didn't think it would be wise, considering how long I've been stuck here. I'm, Trapped uh... in these lesson ages by two very greedy little boys. I'm not... Your sons, uh... Atris. Cirrus and Akinar. Of course, they're not so little anymore, not so innocent. I thought a lot about innocence these last few years and what happens when it gets lost. Worried about relation? I have it. Worried about friends, relatives, people you can't get back? I know just how you feel. But if you want to do something about it, you're going to have to open this device. And there's just one problem. I've changed the three symbols that do that. So if you want to reclaim relation, you're going to have to take your own class. <laughs> uh-huh. Find the three symbols, Atris. And don't keep me waiting forever. Yeah, uh... I'm not... I'm not Atris. Uh, sorry to disappoint. Your your little uh, your little trap, your little game here. It's uh, not quite working as intended. Oh yeah, this. So I've got to adjust this. Let's see, is this the? Oh, there. Zoom it. Definitely need to focus. Yeah, I think that's about. about it there so the positions of these marbles <laughs> is important I remember that and I do have them written in my journal so when it comes to that point we'll have to have to reference that because ain't no way I'm gonna memorize <laughs> marble positioning but you've got the innermost marble on the right you know, Cardinal East. The looks like second marble is Cardinal South. Then the third marble is Cardinal West. And the fourth outermost marble is like Southwest. Ish. And that's for that tusk. In a that away direction. Which. Which is the the color puzzle. Yeah. So this one should be the the plant pu yeah, the plant puzzle here. And you've actually gotta zoom in in order to adjust it. So not only do you have to solve a puzzle to get to the tusk, you have to solve a puzzle to to access the book inside. So I think that's uh, this is, yeah, I think that one should be in the Cardinal South. So it looks like Cardinal South there. Uh That one's probably right there. Yeah, I 
would say it's right there. So you've got innermost, southwest, second is north, or sorry, south. The second is south. The third is like west southwest. And then the last one is uh, north northwest. And oh, what's what is this? Oh, more pages. Cirrus and Akinar. The walls run red with steam and strangling branches. I see their bloated faces laughing at everything. I remember how they lied. I remember what they did. They brought me here to die. I followed them. The lattice roots were black from too much overgrowth. Puffer spores floated up in the hot steam and burst. No one was there to guide the spores to the branches. No one was waiting to perform the ritual weaves. The fighting had torn my people apart. They didn't care. They didn't care. They wanted Narayan to die. They have done it. Or, I have done it. I Oh, you know, that's, that's the bit we've already read. So those are the two new pages, I guess. Right. Yeah, I think that's all. Currently. Okay. So yeah, we got two new pages. This poor sad strange little man and you notice that there's like a numbering system up here we've got an Orion numbering system I can't remember if that is important I know that I wrote down at least some of them so we'll see this one is over by where we started I'll zoom in a bit Focus. Focus the other way. I read about there, and I believe this should be probably in the south there. Yeah, that's the perfect position there. So we've got west south east southeast and north northwest for our positions there all right so we've got our task we've got to go out to these three tusks we've got to get to get inside them and go to these three ages. Find some symbols. So we can open up the main compartment here. And get to, uh... Who is his name? Saavedro. Saavedro. Let's, uh, let's head over to that tusk, since we unlocked the, the path to it, with those plants. Also, water. Looks really good. While we're here, I just will position this. Also that background song. So that's currently looking out that way, so we want to turn it. I think that should be perfect. Yes. Down over here. We'll adjust this one as well. Alright, so we want to turn that twice. 
we want the blank face to be facing us so that the light can go from there to here to there. Or actually, to there. To there. <coughs> There's the platform. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly hop on up to this. These couple of uh, signals here. Definitely need to rotate that. And then ah! I'm blind. Oh no. Ah! Ah! Rotate it again! There we go. And that should be all of them connected now. Let's double check this one here. Yep. Okay. Let's see if we can open this door. Hit. Okay. So here. Got a lovely little design in the floor. And then we got, like I said, marble rotation puzzle. So just gotta find where I wrote those down. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. All right. So the first one on, oh, I wrote them down first on the outside going in. So first one should be right about there. Second should be down here. Third in the south and then fourth over here. Unless these things change from Play through, play through, they do not. Good. And here we have the Book of Idana, which has this mechanism that like rotates and opens the pit, the book for you. Yeah, this is a lovely little age. Lots of plant life. Jinanin. That's the book that uh, takes us back to the back to where we just came from. And it seems to be in there. So that's where we need to get to to get out of here. Funky little plants we got here. Am I actually seeing, like, like as a telescope? Or were these plants, like, connected to each other and somehow you look through one and see through a different one? 
Because that looks like a different angle than what we've got. I don't know. Either way, I have to go this way. Goo. It seems to have a few eggs in there. Most of them not hatched. <laughs> Am I able to look at anything else with this? No? Just bird. That's where the book is. Yeah, that's where we're looking at it. Came up here. All right, down this path. Bird. <coughs> and it as it takes off toward a dream. That almost sounded like a yelp for help. Also, undulating. Ah, no water in there. So this thing isn't getting any water. Seems like a problem. Further up we go. Whoop. Ha! Ah, Jananen. Okay, so there is a way to go back if you wanted to just be like, I need to dip out for a second. <laughs> Get some more clues or something. Cool, cool, cool. But we still need a symbol in this age. Ah, yes. This plant focuses the light of the sun. Oh, yeah, and if we focus it on this sack here, it spreads out some water. And then that plant drinks up the water and blossoms to give us a path down. Nice, nice. Anything else need some sun? No? Well, alright then. I heard movement. But okay. Guess it's just plants moving in the wind. Look at that. Just ocean. Basically nothing but ocean out there. Mm. 
Oh, the water sack has exploded. And now we get to go down! far down ah. that, was, that was a long ways down huh and we're going even further down still La creatura. Little like ray guy. Oh. He electrocutes things. Not sure if those plants like that. How did you get there? That's, that's, that's a pretty small pool of water. For a creature of your size to be living in. Hmm. Oh. Desecrated the poem he placed in the columns. I could no longer stand to see Narayan's artistry in, the, in his worlds. I think I can do something with sap to cover the second one, but I'm not sure what to do about the island. I don't know how to alter the current. Perhaps if I bring in some of the unusual floating stone from... Amateria? Something about the molecular composition of the rock in that age causes it to attract and repel other stone quite forcefully. Maybe if I introduce some of it to the soil on the island, it will interfere just enough to damage the last poem. I will have to conduct some experiments. Many experiments going on. Hmm. So he didn't like the poems written on the walls. Hmm. Let's see, you got this big leaf. Sounds like he's in trouble. Big Bird's in trouble. We gotta help them. It's over here. Boop. Light plant. Okay. Definitely some sort of rope system going on there. But it won't let me interact with it. Whoop. Should I? Don't know if I I'm sure, why not? Oh, can I? Whoa! 
Okay. So there's, there's like something blocking the rope or what? Oh, we set the trap. Right. Yeah, we set it up, and then we've got a. Then we gotta figure out a way back. Can we like mess with those? No. Oh. Whee! Slide. Okay. Now if we come back here. Sorry, little guy. I'm gonna need your voice. I'm so sorry. I need your chittering. For later. I'm so sorry. Whoa. Oh. Okay, that didn't work. Sorry. I'll see if I can let you out after I've utilized your voice. somewhere. Oh, you know what? Maybe there's something up here? Nothing there. Just beautiful music. the thing with this game though is figuring out where can you go and how do you go yeah, so we can only go this way and then we could go that way if we could turn on that light Maybe, maybe we do set him free, and then, and then I think he might like run across there and chitter. That seems like a thing. Surely he'll run away from me once he sees me over here. Well, shoot. Huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. So if we move this, then he won't be near the trap. So he won't get caught by the trap. But when the trap goes off, he'll get startled and run. Yeah? And he won't be able to run back into the hole because he'll be blocked by the trap. Adorable little guy. Bah. Yeah, see? Whew. 
Be free. Enjoy your fruits. All right. And now we can swing across this gap. Very good. Hmm. Uh oh. Bird? Bird? I gotta let you free. I'll find a way. Gotta electrify a plant. That makes them open up. We learned this. I hear noises. Oh. Can probably drag that electric ray down here. and Aknar with their books. I assume they're talking to the people of Narayan and it looks like there's some people that aren't so happy. But others are very happy. Hmm. Got two paths here. Okay, so this one kind of loops around, but what's what's this? What's the matter, Atrus? Can't remember how things work. I'm not... Yet you explained this class I'm, so well when we first spoke up it in Orion. I'm not... I want... Atris. Cirrus and Akinar to learn everything they can, Savidro. First from Amateria, Idana, Voltaic, and finally from Orion. When my boys come to see your people, I want them to see Orion's traditions and work so they can see how civilization can balance. Class was over, you took your boys away, and you never came back. Cirrus and Akinar did. Yeah, they, they weren't nice people, Cirrus and Akinar. A leaf in need of some sunlight. Way down here. Okay, let's go uh, this way. Looks like there's a path there, but guess not. Ooh. Oh, there's a leaf. So I think this one we want to point there. Because I think it like reflects light. 
like a mirror, like a mirror puzzle. shine light on that plant, but we need to get its roots with lightning, with electricity. Ah, and then this one okay, it's stationary but we need to get some l sunlight to it right somehow I think we need to angle this one this try that because this one is already pointed at that s actually at the wrong s the different sack hmm. actually where is that Oh, you're pointing at this. I wonder if I, I could probably push it. Once we get back over there. Let's see. Is there a second path? Yeah. Where does this lead? sits on the floor of the tusk, its swirling panel reaching tentacle-like arms out of to grab me. I want to close my eyes to shut out these false illusions before they suck me into the fog. I do not want those swirling arms to touch me. Why? Why am I so afraid of his book? I want to remember. I must. I think... I think this man may have come to our village, but he was younger then, dark-haired, tall, wearing those same strange flowing brown robes. He carried a book in his hands. Then two, and uh, he carried a book in his hands then too, and he's always using it, always writing down notes. His eyes are covered by thick glasses, but his face is warm and friendly. He tells me his name. He says it's Atrus. I remember now. His name is Atrus. Atrus says he's come to our village from a faraway place. Because he wanted to learn about the tree. He says he'll only stay a while. Doesn't want to stop our endless labors. He says he wants to help. If we will let him. Oh, Tamra, why did we let him keep writing Savedro, or Savidro? Write everything down. This Atris stayed with us for months. I taught him how to trim the delicate lattice roots, how to splice old and new growths together, 
so the walls of our houses will grow strong. I tell them the traditions of the weave. How by using the spores to support the growing branches, we keep the lattice tree alive. He wants to learn everything, I know. He wants to Ryan to survive. I take him to the rift, to where the sea flows through gaps in the world. Stream flows up from the waterfall. The puffer spores are ready to take flight. We stand in the shadows of dusk and watch the spores begin to rise. He says they look like pearls against the sky. Then he points to one of the spores. It's smaller than the rest. Small enough to fit the niche we'd woven into the branches that morning. Its skin is milky white with just the faintest touch of pink. That one, Atris said. That should support your new daughter's room perfectly, I think. I remember, I nodded. Then I raised my pipe and played Atris, er, and played. Atris stood beside me, holding his breath as my song drew the hollow spore in close. As soon as it was near, he threw the net and dragged it in. This is what I remember. This is why I said he could send me his sons. Yeah, and we've read all that before. So, yeah. Hmm. So, where does this tunnel lead to? way down oh. okay no way to go that way so this, this is the only path step on this oh Climbed with its plant arms. Back down it goes. So, what was the point in it? Okay, hang on. There's gotta be something down there. Right? What am I missing? can go this way. Okay. Ooh. Big plant. Hang on. What, what else is over this way? Nothing. Okay. Big plant. Gotta be on the lookout for any side paths that there might be, you know? this main path lead. Oh, is this... No? No, this is a different plant. But it is receiving light. Oh, blocked by those plants there, huh? Sure, there's nothing else I should shine it on. Okay. It seems to be kind of blocked a bit.
There it is. Now this plant is completely open and seems to be receiving a lot of sunlight. Bugs react. They seem to stay there. Pretty sure it's important to close it. Lots of pollen. fly away. Hmm. As I recall, we gotta go in there later. For now. We should head back up this way. Oh! I guess there was enough light to open this up. With the insects? Huh. Okay. Good to know. Uh, let's... Let's go back up and see about helping that bird, though. Pretty sure we gotta get to this later. Step off the plant. And down he goes. Okay. Back through here. Crawling. And then down. Across the leaf. Instantly. Ha ah, yes, shock those roots. Be free! <laughs> Woo! Nice. Bird freed. We did it. Guess oh we're gonna have to point it back at the I forgot gotta point it back at the leaf so that we can actually go back down. So, so much clicking. To the leaf. Goodness. 
such a long path back. Okay. Oh, what? I apparently got turned around. This way. And then we go down on this. All right. The plants are so helpful here. But also so very hungry. So we got that one opened up. This one's closed. So if we climb inside here, more notes. The final painting is almost done. It's been hard work in the heat, but he must see everything that happened. As he follows the instructions I have left him, he will feel the pain I've suffered. If he doesn't, perhaps both of us will die. It is finished. All is ready for Atris's arrival. Tonight I will sleep among the ghosts. All right, we've already read that one actually. <sighs> What's up here? Inside the plant. Inside the flower. Hmm. Hmm. Sir. He's got us! He picked us up! Oh, yo, yeah, this is looks like the, the purple stuff that they were feeding to their baby. make note of that myself, though I do have that note in my uh, notebook. Yeah, there's the symbol. And there's the book, Back to Janan and We did it. One symbol down, two to go. Does it take us back to the center tusk there? Yeah, it does. I, I think we're able to, uh, yeah, just put that there. Oh, it, it does bring up the device. 
and a new message. Not so easy, is it, Atris? I'm not... Uh, Running like a rat through a maze, looking for some uh, sign that'll help you save your world. Is it over here? Is it over there? Is it someplace I can't find? Cirrus and Akinar didn't care about saving Narayan. All that talk about fixing instabilities, rewriting the age so that we would be free to live our lives, that was just talk to hide the truth of why they had come. But we believed their lies, Atris. So we abandoned our traditions, forgetting that those traditions were keeping Narayan alive. And when the last tree started to die, I followed them here to tell them what they had done. And they laughed. They said they would never fix Narayan. They said that they had already taken everything it had worth saving. So, my dear old friend, Atris, I'm, I'm I not... brought you to this place where your education begins. Find the remaining two symbols and then come see what your boys did to Narayan. Boy, I, I bet... All of this would really make Atrus think, if only he were here. <laughs> if only he were the one doing all of this. <sighs> Real awkward, you know? That awkward moment when you're trapped in a big uh, escape room that was specifically set for somebody else to like teach them a lesson and you're not them <laughs> I I feel for you Savitro but also I'm not Atris so <laughs> Oh, you know what? Since I believe we've got the uh, the color puzzle all sorted, I think we can just uh, go straight on over there. Yeah. What? Oh. Crap. I forgot. Oh. Oh, it's not just shining the lights. You've got to know the order of the colors. All right. We're going on a trip. On our favorite two feet around the island. Starts with yellow. Oh. Yellow to blue. Blue's over there, right? Yeah. Or is it? No, blue's over here? And then blue goes over there. So yellow, blue, green. Yellow, blue, green. And red's last. Yellow, blue. Green. Ah. Yeah, I won't be able to. Yellow, blue, green. Yellow, blue, green, red. Yellow, blue, green, red. Yellow, blue, green, red. Yellow, blue, green, red. Yellow. Yellow, blue, green, red, yellow, purple, red. Yellow, blue, green, red, yellow, purple, red. Yellow, blue, green, red. Yellow, blue, green, red, yellow. 
Boom! We got it. Yeah. All right. Now I'm gonna just pull out my note of the marbles. And of course, this is. This is the colors one. So we got this one goes over here. Two over to the west. Three straight south. And four goes uh, over here. Yep. Voltaic. Well, here we go. To the land of, or the age of steam and engineering, and water mills. Path going that way. So is this path here? That's locked. Looks like it maybe needs another vial. Oh, ah, there's a book back to Janani. Some sort of cable, and some pipes, and tubes, and things. The dam over there. Well, guess we better head on down this path. of who I am, how long I have been trapped here. So much of it is blurry, whole blocks of time still floating in the fog that eats my mind. But if I concentrate, I get pieces of it back. It was the dream that first helped me remember. I was lying in the reeds near the tusk. I don't know for how long or how I get there here. I'm staring at the sky seeing a man grow out of the cliff, first his head, then his shoulders, then his torso. Sunlight rims his body like a halo. I cannot move. I think that death has finally come for me. The man stands on the cliff with a book in his hand, staring down at the lagoon as if something made him sad. I wanted to call out to him, to tell him it was me he's come to find. But my mouth is dry. I can't remember any words. And before I think to stand, he opens his book, puts his hand on the page, and fades to dust. I thought he was a dream. It was only later, hours or weeks later, that I find his swirling book atop the cliff. And when I reach down to grab it, it is real. The fog tried to swallow me then and there, but I held on to the firm reality of the book and did not let it. I did not let the numbness steal my mind. And we've read that bit. So yeah, he's been having uh, a time... Not a good time. 
Mm. We got red tunnel, blue tunnel. Both lead to here. Locked. Bah. Blue tunnel. Make sure there's no newts. Don't want to miss any. Oh, you know what? We should probably continue reading uh, Atris's journal here. I have put much thought into this tonight and have found only one solution. If we, the men and women who survived the downfall of Denis, are to thrive, then we must break the pattern of hatred which has destroyed so many lives. We must begin our civilization anew, and we can only do that if I write us a new age. I have spoken with Catherine about this, and she agrees. I only hope the others will see it as well. 93526. Will these people never cease to amaze me? I thought they would object to my decision. After all, most of them linked back to Denise specifically to see the city rebuilt. But when I told them why we should not restore it, their response was immediate and unanimous. Whereas yesterday, they thought only of rebuilding. Today, they concentrate solely on salvage. They intend to take from their ruined city only that which is best and move on. Everywhere I look, the enthusiasm for this new task is obvious. It heartens me, even as I face my own monumental contribution. I have written many ages in my lifetime, from my first timid attempts under the tyrannical tutelage of my father, to my most recent accomplishment, uh, Averon. Never before has so much been riding on my skill. The age I am about to write must be all I ever imagined, and more. How am I going to achieve it? 9361. Catherine laughed this morning when, I, when she saw me drudging about my old notebooks. I must have made quite the picture, sitting near the embers of a fire, surrounded by countless commentaries and journals. Some of them seemed more dust than paper, but the hours I spent sifting through them was worth it. Ideas for what this new age might be are tumbling around in my head. There are almost too many to catch hold of. Obviously, I must choose some starting point as my anchor. Writing ages is a science, a precisely structured equation of words. Every equation needs, as its foundation, an underlying concept around which the age can develop. In the past, I have written my books around whatever idea intrigued me most at the time. I wanted to, dis to discover how the age to which the book linked would manifest the results of that idea. Sometimes civilizations had arisen, sometimes they had not. But whether a society had come to exist on the age or not, it was often in response to whatever concept the book I had written embodied. This time, my search for a concept must be weighed very carefully. I already have the civilization I wish to develop, or wish to see develop. I know our history as a people, and the paths we have followed to arrive here. Today, I must write a book which will link to an age that will allow us to continue on our journey, growing ever stronger as one people. What underlying concept must this new age reflect that will best allow our civilization to thrive? I fear I must think on this some more. Oh, a little diagram of like a map of some sort. Oh, and a ladder leading up and a ramp leading down. Let's have a look down real quick. Oh. This one also seems to need a vial, but this one seems to need a blue vial, and I think the other one needed a green one. 
Hmm, waterfall? Oh, and there's where we started. Over there. Oh, and that's flooded with water, so we can't go down there. Let's see about going up then. Yes, we will rotate this. Let the waters flow. Yeah. Down we go. Let's have another look over here. Oh, I see. We moved. So the waters are flowing over there, but they're not flowing here anymore. Okay. Let's have a look down here. Beacon. Okay. Let's spin this. Sure. what that did. Maybe we should go back up and move the wall again? Things. Also, good for notes. No, oh, it's just this one. Okay. Yeah, I expect that was important. Putting out the flaps on these. Uh, yeah, there they are. And so the turbines turn. Rotates. It rotates me. Yeah, see. Yeah. So that's what we raised up, kind of like, I guess, like a gear that then slots in with the uh, water wheel to then power this, I guess. So we don't need another tube. We just need to power it, I guess. Another message for Atris. Twenty years, Atris. Twenty long years alone. They tied me to a post. They burned their missed blinking books in front of me. Dude. They took everything I had. My wife. My two baby girls! Oh no. And then, when I finally made it back to Narayan and I saw. I saw. It 
would have been better if I had died. How did you not? Like, how did you survive? How did you live? Do you not need to eat? Or drink? 20 years, dude. That's a long, long time. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Huh. Big structure down here. Ha! Huh. Hey, I know that number. Here is this one. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh. Ooh. This seems like it's might be needed. To link to oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. That looks that looks pretty good to me. Okay. Two. Seems to match up. Three. All of that looks to be matching, except for that. Oof. Let's hold off. Let's see, we got three, and then this should be four. And like, four's not matching. Okay. What about five? Also not matching, okay. So let's go back to three. And in fact, I'll double check two. Make sure that it is, in fact, all matched up. Looks like it is. Oh, note. It is taking me too long. Every minute I spend searching his house runs the risk of someone walking in and finding me. I would bring his journals to the tusk, but I'm afraid he will notice them gone. Already I'm afraid of what he knows, of what his wife might know. She almost caught me last time. I had linked directly into the sunroom. I was walking toward his study when I heard footsteps coming down the hall. She was talking with someone. She was laughing. And for one heart-wrenching moment, I thought she was Tamra. Then I remembered my Tamra is dead. I left her to die when I went after the brothers. I told her to go to the reef, to take our two girls there and hide. I took the necklace she gave me to remember her, and I told her, Oh God, Tamra, I told you it would all be okay. For years I prayed my words were not a lie, that you had made it to reef. That you were tending the... The... The ailing lattice roots. By the weaving, Tamra. How I prayed. Until I opened my machine, his machine. I saw Narayan through his shield. And even though the barrier kept me locked inside, 
I knew. I knew the lattice tree had died. Narayan can't survive without the tree. No one can be alive outside his shield. Standing in Atris's house, knowing that my wife and children were dead, I felt the fog roll toward me again, and as much as I wanted to give in to its numbness, I couldn't. I couldn't let Atris's wife find me standing there. Somehow, I waded through the haze. I made my way to the study, found the book that would take me back to Janine, or Jananen. It was right where I had left it, where they might not see it fall. I placed my hand on the panel, heard the door behind me opening, and then the study disappeared. She almost saw me. I know it. It was much too close this time. If the book hadn't been where I le had left it, next time I'll bring a book from one of his other ages with me, just in case it happens again. Just three, because this needs to be just okay. So that fits, and then that fits, and then everything fits. All right, so let's take a look back at one, and everything does not fit here. But let's take a look at two does not all fit there. Three, of course, does, because we just said it. About four. Four does not. And then five does not. All right, I think what we'll do is we'll try to rotate just the bottom until all, until it's matching on all five. And then we'll work our way up from there. Surely there's got to be like a position that fits for all of them. And like this. That's the exact. Okay. So that one fits. At the bottom. That one still fits. And one. But two, two works. Three, three works. Four, also good. Okay, and then we'll work on the next tier. So, I believe that's actually this one. Yeah. Okay, so that one matches. Let's see if it still matches over here. It does not. on five still matches on one two looks good three looks good oops four still looking good okay all right then we'll move on to this next one that matches. Particularly a four. Does not. Electricity! Woohoo! I guess we have power now. Let's just go around, make sure we're not missing anything out here. I think that's the only thing in here, is this power generator. Okay. Looking good. Is that B? 
beautiful music. Feels like that's the, the place where we started, where we got to open the door. So we gotta somehow route power to it. Let's see if this door opens. Nope. It like, it unlocks or unlatches, but it doesn't, it's like there's something on the other side blocking it. At least that's the way it looks to me. I guess we go this way then. Hmm. Some like cables running down there. Right, is there any uh, notes? No notes. Big honk of machinery over here. An elevator. I don't think we go down there yet. Deflated uh, airship. Pressure gauge, huh? What happens if I just... Hmm. Absolutely not. Alright, let's have a look around here. Okay, that did nothing. Oh, that's all. Wrecked. I go up here and up further, even further beyond. Oh, a note. Cavern wall is almost ready for, or it's almost ready. For weeks I have been polishing it, rubbing away at the cracks to obtain a smooth surface. I haven't been able to sleep much these last weeks. I was afraid I might never wake up. But if I can make him see all that happened, if I can show him the pain his family caused, it will be worth it. Hmm. Hmm. Tomorrow I begin mixing the paints. Hmm. Mixing up some paints, huh? Hmm. 
Is that for the cavern wall that we saw in Idana? I think. Through the orb. Go along the tube with this, like, this spine like uh, structure to hold it up. Hmm. What's this? Hmm. Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! Through the complex! Secret, 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 secret tunnel! Yeah! Oh! I bet. Yeah! Unlocked! Cool, cool, cool. So what's... Some machinery. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Looks like that's all we can do here. Goes the lava, I guess. a mural. Maybe that's the one that he was talking about in the page that we just picked up. I assume that's uh, Savidro and his wife. And of course it's the people of Narayan lamenting as their world burns while Sirius and Aknar laugh in their flying machine. Give us some steam power. Oh, actually. Hmm. 
Oh, it was up there, wasn't it? And I think it's kind of... Oh, wait. It's up here. Yeah. There we go. We'll just head back down the secret tunnel. Crushed a tube. Back to see if things are getting steamy. Oh, I see steam. I see a lot of steam coming out the top there. Which I think we're doing good. that. Oh, is it supposed to... Oh, shoot. I feel like there's something we're supposed to, like, connect over there, maybe. Or something in order to, like, inflate this balloon. Alright, there's a red line here, so I assume that's what we want to get to. That's definitely too much. That's a lot. Alright, that one's blocked, so we can't turn it. so close. Let's go ahead and open all the ones that we can. See what happens if we go up. Ah. Maybe I need a bit more power in order to go up. Probably. So I believe there's another row up. So I think yellow gets us to the mid ring. Red should get us to the top. That was like three. This seems like four. Go up. Oh, that took me down. Maybe I need to go down first and then it'll go up all the way. Huh. Maybe I need to close them all. go all the way up. I don't know. These are all open. I gave one. One. Also one. Also one. Okay, so that's with all of them closed. What if I left one of these open? Also, does this like rotate or no? Okay. And what if I close? actually let's leave these all closed and we'll start by working on the ones at the bottom because those release a lot. So 
let's open up these ones. See how much, how close we can get to that line. Not close enough for sure. But we still got enough juice to get to the mid -line. So let's open up some of these. Two. All right, so I think we need to release two more of those at the top. And then we'll open two of these. We're gonna need more steam power to get all the way up there. Don't know if that'll be enough, so I'll close one more. We go. Up again. So if we can open, yeah, two more. Just need one of those closed. Then we need two open in the middle. all three of these. Yeah. That should be perfect. And then I think we, whoops, rotate this. Yes. Oh, that's odd. My, uh, my webcam froze. Okay, so it looks like it moved and it disconnected from its little tubes. So hang on. Sorry, my. I don't know why my webcam did that. Just decided to shut down the webcam program. Uh. Yeah, we're gonna go, uh. Dream. I figure we should probably do that, you know? Okay, so. We've moved it, but of course this thing is in the way. Is there a way to interact with it here? I don't think so. You know what, we might have to interact with it down, down there, I think. So we do want to go down that elevator. Yep. 
No, that that's it. Just, just a lever, huh? Guess we've done enough puzzles for this lead. platform a bit. Well, point of no return. It's time for a roller coaster ride. Just like Riven. We get a bunch of rides in this game. Must. A slow ride, this one, but... Look, it's the dam that we fixed up. Oh, we're speeding up. Woo! Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. All right, and then lever. I need what's in there. What? 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 Huh. So do we, uh, do we just hop in? Here we go. Whoa! We're flying now! No more rails. Or maybe yes rails. Okay, a rail straight up here. Yeah, yeah, there was still a rail. Huh. Here we are. I, I guess it's powered up. Wild stuff in this age. I assume the symbol we need is down here. like a symbol. How do you even begin to get that, those stones to float in that specific pattern? That's insane. Jananin. Ah. Oh yeah, and uh, that opening song, in case you didn't realize or didn't know, uh, I believe it's sung in Narayanese, or in, in whatever Narayan the, the language of Narayan is, I think that's what it's sung in. 
I do know that some of the lyrics of the song are the names of the ages in this game. You know, Jananin, Amateria Voltek Narayan. And so on. Boop. Drawing number two. Oh, and it actually like forms the symbol down there at the bottom. And then like rotates around. Neat. It's a neat effect that you barely see. This is what you expected, Atris. When you follow me here, hoping uh, to reclaim relation. Yeah. This classroom, what you expected to find. I read your journal, you know. In Tamana. After I found your linking book abandoned outside this observatory, I read all about the Dunning. How you started their world again. Can you really do that, Atris? After everything that's happened to Narayan, could you start their world over again? I don't think so. I think there's too much blood on our hands, too many ghosts. Surely you can't change that with a pen stroke. One more symbol, Atris. Yeah. Narayan is waiting. Yeah, if, if, if only I was Atris. If only I was the person you were looking for. Ugh. Well. Oh yeah, it's it's right there. The book is right there. We just can't reach it. It's just out of reach. Because if we if we tried, we'd probably fall for. Well, fall to our death. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll go take a look at that third tusk out there. The one right next to where we started. Uh, is this one... No, it's not Idana. Amat Amateria, I think? Oh yeah, this is the one with the... Oops. Wait, it just stops right there. Yeah. I think there's something back there that we gotta deal with. Is there? No. 
Oh, I think we get the boulder over there, and then we there's something we gotta do over here. I think that's it. And then we can bust it through. big pit, so uh, we're going to have to now move things around there we go go. Now we've got an orb to stand on. Okay, so it's time for the marble code. Here we go. So this one needs to go here. Second goes down here, I believe. Third straight down here, and then the fourth right over here. Amateria. Well, we we We'll have to continue this next time. It's about time to close it, and you know, I want to leave enough, or roughly enough for another stream. You know, we've already been through two ages. I, I, there's only uh, really two left, so I think I'll have to leave it off here. What a lovely little game. It's not terribly long. Though, uh, really, the length depends on your ability to figure out the puzzles. And I remember Amateria has a few puzzles. And then, uh... And then... The la then we end up going to Narayan, obviously. Got to chase after that sad, strange little man. And that one has a couple of puzzles that require a lot of thinking. <laughs> and figuring stuff out. But anyways. Uh, I'll be streaming tomorrow evening. Playing some more Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail expansion. Uh, again, streaming it on Thursday instead of Saturday because I'm going to a wedding on Saturday from a friend. So, and then uh, next Monday will be more Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC. And then next Wednesday. We will almost certainly be finishing up 
missed three exile. Should be good times. And, uh... Yeah, I know that this game also, kind of like Riven, has multiple endings. And obviously one true good ending. So I'll, I'll probably show off a couple of the bad endings. And then we'll get the good ending. I know the- I remember the good ending takes a little bit of, uh, forethought, which you would probably have to get a bad ending or two before you figure out, ah, here's how I get the good ending. That is assuming you real- you even realize that there is a good ending to get, because it's a little tricky. But, yeah, so. Regardless, uh, be kind to yourself, have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you next mission. Bye bye